Hi, my name is Julia and this is Space Daily News Channel. United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Center in Florida on January 8. The two-stage Vulcan rocket has a height of 60 meters, a diameter of 5.4 meters, and in configuration with six boosters will be able to launch up to 27 tons of payload to low Earth orbit. The development of this rocket has been underway since 2006. And it was originally envisioned that the first stage of this rocket would use Russian-made RD-180 engines. However, after the events of 2014, United Launch Alliance decided to abandon the RD-180 engines and decided to use Blue Orange's new B-4 engines. The launch that took place used a Vulcan rocket with two side boosters, which separated about two minutes after liftoff. And five minutes after liftoff, the rocket's first stage turned off its two liquid methane and liquid oxygen-powered BE-4 engines and separated from the upper stage. The second stage of the Vulcan rocket continued to launch Astrobotics Peregrine Lunar Module, which separated from it about 50 minutes after liftoff. Thus, the first launch of United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket was successful. But the mission itself, unfortunately, was unsuccessful. The Peregrine module was supposed to land on the Moon a month and a half later and deliver 20 different payloads to its surface. However, shortly after undocking from the upper stage of the rocket, the module experienced problems. The Peregrine lander failed to turn its solar panels to the Sun, possibly due to an anomaly in the spacecraft's propulsion system. It has become known that a failure in the propulsion system caused a critical loss of fuel that will prevent the module from accomplishing its mission. The latest data show that the Peregrine spacecraft has fuel left for about 40 hours of operation. Mission specialists are now conducting payload checks and testing the operation of the spacecraft components and its software. The data obtained will be used in the next lunar mission. Astrobotic is expected to launch a larger lunar module Griffin at the end of 2024. It will go to the Moon on a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket and will have to deliver NASA's lunar rover Viper to the south pole of the Moon. Astrobotic has hoped to become the first private company whose spacecraft would make a soft landing on the Moon. Now that owner may go to another American company, Intuitive Machines which plans to launch its Nova Sea lander next month on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. Space Daily News. Like, share and subscribe.